Hi everyone, my name is Trisa. You can call me Risa. Welcome to Anju Risa channel. This crunchy headband is so popular again. So I decided to make this tutorial and try to figure out how to finish the headband perfectly. If you love anything about handicraft, consider subscribing and turn on the notification. I'm using a hard headband to make this crunchy headband. My size is about 3 quarter inch. If you want to make this crunchy headband wider, I suggest you to use wider or larger headband. We're going to need a long strip of fabric. I like to use satin or silk fabric to make this crunchy headband. The texture of this fabric is very smooth and bright. It looks so soft and luxurious just by looking at it. Am I right? So I'm going to fold the fabric to make it easier to write the measurement. The width of fabric is about 4 times the headband. So my headband is 3 quarter inch. This size is about 3 inches. Or if you want to make it wider, 4 inches is fine. The length of fabric is about 45 to 55 inches. The longer the fabric, the more fluffy or ruffled the headband will be. Fold the fabric in half. And mark 6 cm. Then take the headband and slide it here just to make sure that the headband will fit into this fabric later. I will mark about half inches from the headband. English isn't my primary language, so if you can hardly understand what I was saying, you can turn on the subtitle in this video. I also include subtitles in various languages. I hope the translation is correct because I use a translator. Connect the dots and cut the fabric. In my previous video about hard headband, I received a lot of suggestions in the comments that it's better to finish the headband without using the grow grain ribbon as it looks more professional. So I was trying to figuring out how to finish the headband without extra strips of fabric. Do the same to the other end. This step is important to finish our headband perfectly. Oh, okay, I'll cut out this extra piece. You can see the satin texture. Let's start making the scrunchy headband. This is the front side, and this is the back side of our fabric. Fold the fabric to the back side and hold it using a fabric clip or pin. Do the same to the other end. Fold to the back side of fabric. About half inch is fine. This is to easily hide the raw edges of our fabric. I'm going to sew this part because this is just a simple straight stitch. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can sew this manually. I've done sewing. If you want to make this crunchy headband without using a sewing machine, I'll cover that in my next video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and turn on the notification. Next is to fold the fabric with the front sides together. I rarely use fabric clips. I'm using this just to make it easier to point out which part to sew. I usually fold the fabric and take it straight to the sewing machine. We are going to sew along the fabric from one end to the other end. I use 9014 needle to sew this satin fabric. I've done sewing all along the fabric. Next is to turn the fabric inside out. Turning a long strip of fabric is quite time consuming. The easiest tool to find at home is to use a safety pin. Just pin it to one end and push the safety pin to the other end. But if you have a loop turner, it will be easier to turn the fabric inside out. So 
slide the loop turner from here. If sewing is something you do a lot, I recommend buying this loop turner as it really, really helps. Make sure to hook the fabric. Just hook the fabric and pull the fabric out. If we use fabric with flower pattern, polka dot pattern, or others, the pattern isn't visible due to the ruffle of this headband. So I prefer to use plain color fabric to make this crunchy headband. Prepare the hard headband and hot glue gun. Simply slide the headband through the fabric. This is why we measure the headband in the first place before cutting the fabric. Use hot glue to secure the headband in place so there's no way for the headband to move or come off. I recommend washing your fabric before starting your sewing project, especially in pandemic situation like this. I hope this pandemic will be over soon. I've been staying at home for 6 months. Whew. After this, just slide the fabric like this And make sure that this is the back side of our headband and this will be hidden when we wear this scrunchy headband. So it's important to make sure that the fabric isn't twisted. It's time to finish the headband. Use plenty of hot glue as this is very important. You don't want the scrunchy to come off. And our scrunchy headband is finished. Thanks for watching this scrunchy headband tutorial. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and comment about what you don't like. If you have any questions, write in the comment below. I'll see you next time.